Hello, and welcome to Anchored. Today will be the first of many video podcasts that will be coming your way. While this is a new format, our heart remains the same. To provide solid biblical content, engaging stories and insights, and dialogue between each other as we navigate the three relationships together of God, church, and the world. Hey, change can be hard, but we get used to our routines and our processes and it can make us feel frustrated or uneasy to try something new. As I prepared this podcast, I thought about Sir Isaac Newton and his first law of motion. It declares that everything continues in a state of rest unless it is compelled to change by force impressed upon it. As a believer, that force is the Holy Spirit. He nudges us forward, pushes us to grow and change as he sanctifies, redeems, convicts, and strengthens us to be more and more like Jesus. So hang in there with us. I too is sad to see Anchor Daily change, but I also have learned in my faith journey that change can be good. While sometimes I might pout for a bit or even stubbornly say no at first, I have grown to understand that we must be sensitive to the movement of the Holy Spirit. Abiding and trusting in Him when the winds of change blow is the only way to endure. More of Him, less of me. Paul's awesome prayer speaks to this in Ephesians 3, 14 through 21, and we'll end there. When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his Holy Spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down in God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God, who is able, through his mighty Holy Spirit power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, forever and ever. Amen.